Good morning, folks. Now, it's early in the morning, and I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wade across here. See how cold this water is. Yeah, it's pretty cold. And I'm going to look for some minnows. Now, I just have got done with a, a creek video, which is my first. And uh, I need some minnows. So I brought a five foot quarter inch nylon bets cast net with me. And um, right here are some falls. And right here about 60 yards is another set of falls that falls deeper uh, or farther. We'll get up here and look at it. Looking for minnows right now as we speak. I hadn't seen any. Now, I'm prepared today to catch bass. I'm much more uh, prepared than I was last time. But, uh, uh, minnows. Only thing I know to do is wade right across here and look for some. Okay, I think I found a place or an area right in here where I can catch some well, we'll see what we can catch. I thought I seen some creek chubs laying out there. Uh, little green sunfish, small bluegill, any anything of that nature. They're going to wiggle don't want to stay in there. But I'm going to try to catch me some bait right here. Well, I can't try. I'm going to catch me some bait right here somewhere and i don't really care you know in a creek like this it doesn't matter if it's little bluegill uh, green sunfish creek chubs or whatever i'm looking for a natural swim bait <laughs> and i'm using one pound test line in a size 12 hook which is little bitty and i got a little piece of worm on here so I'm going to work for some bait. It's too rocky in here to throw this cast net. I don't want to run my cast net, so that's why I brought this. And just in case, we'll fish around here and see if we can catch some bait. I'm having a hard time. The water's up a little bit. We've had a little bit of rain, or quite a bit, this week. And I'm fishing a different situation than I was last week. But, uh... Bait's the main thing. I didn't bring any artificials or anything of that nature, so I don't have any choice but to catch <laughs> me some bait. And that's what I mean to do. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. That's just a typical bluegill. Looks like he's about nearly three inches, two and three quarter, three inches long. Right there, that'd be a good one. Look at how. Got me a creek chub. Now, that right there is a guaranteed bass. Well, I don't know if it's guaranteed or not, but now he'll get bit. Let's put him in the bucket. Now I'm getting happy. So that makes three. I've got two bluegill and a creek chub. So I've got three baits. I would like to catch at least a dozen before I started fishing. But I'm going to keep on till we get us what we need. Okay. I've caught, I guess I probably got a dozen right here. Let's see what we got right here. And one creek minter. The rest of them are bluegill. They pour the water out so we can see them. See them down in there. Okay, I probably got about a dozen or so, and I'm proud to get them if it hadn't have been for that little bitty hook and me going behind the house there and catching about a dozen worms is all I brought with me. I wouldn't have had no bait because I depended on back that way to, to find them. And because the water level is a little bit high, it's probably, I estimate about 16 inches higher than it was last week, on account of the rains. 
So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to walk down and I'm going to find eddies and see if I can visually see some bass. If I can't, I'm just going to fish the eddies with these little bluegill and see what we come up with. Uh -huh. Okay, I've moved down right here. Now you can see out in front of me is the swift water. Here's an eddy type situation. Okay, and I'm going to try right in here to see if I can find out if there's a bass in here or not but uh today the last video i used four pound test line okay which was a little bit light i wasn't prepared as i am right now for the situation as far as fighting fish so today i'm going to use an acc crappie stick it's a short one it's the five foot six version it's the it's the one that i like to shoot docks with right up under that dock for crappie and uh i'm using an old reel right here a vintage reel i believe it's the oldest reel i have it's called a record it has a real big spool and how old it is i don't know but they're made in switzerland it's just an old old reel and on it i've loaded up six pound test line and uh it's slime line, which is a quality line. It's real strong. Advanced high visibility. It says extreme abrasion resistance. Well, I'm fishing in and around rock, so that's gonna be perfect right here. Smooth casting, low memory. And I've tied a Palomar knot in this size four Eagle Claw rotating hook. And that's what I'm gonna use. It seems like a, a small hook to use, but uh, really it's not. I want that bait to move and have a lot of action out there. I've mainly have bluegill. So we don't wanna, they die pretty quick. You know, they're not real tough. So that little hook right there, give them an opportunity to be as tough as they can be. So let's hook one up. Whatever I grab is what I'm going to use. Because I had a hard time catching these little devils. And uh, I'm just going to hook him. God, I got a lot of... Right on my hand. He's got some mud on him, but it'll come off here in a minute. Or some sand. Right through the upper jaw into that nostril. And that ought to get that bass. If he, if he comes across one, he's going to see a pair of tonsils come after him. There's no doubt. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, I'm up here on a rock. Way up here, 10, 11 foot off the, the water. And that looks so pretty. I had to throw into it. It's uh, eddying behind these rocks right here. It makes a little eddy. I don't know. It looks like a good place to hold a bass. May not today or right now, but it sure looks like a good place to hold one. And if I do hook him, how am I going to get him? We'll just have to figure that out after we get a hook in him. If he bites. Look here. Look here. Look out there. See that? I hope that camera picked that up. I hope I was at the right angle. But there's two fish after that bluegill, okay? And one of them's got him. They didn't look very big. Neither one of them did. But see, he's got it. I'm going to stalk him, and I'm going to give him one of them. Okay, I don't know how big he is. He's fighting. He's fighting good. I wonder if that could be a small mouth or a spot. There's no telling. That just looked real bassy to me. And I'm way up here on a, I believe it's a small mouth. I believe it's a darn small mouth. <laughs> He's giving me a fit. It's a small mouth bass. I see too much bronze on him. I hope the I hope my angle's right right here. I'm done excited. 
for the simple fact that it's a small mouth. I do a lot of small mouth fishing. I haven't so far, but I will. On the Tennessee River, it's a small mouth. Oh my goodness. There's no way in the world I can keep from throwing back in there again. See that eddy? Gosh, what am I gonna do to get this fish in? Now this is, let's see, he's pretty good. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna, there we go. That is stout line. Look here. Look that. Come here. That's real stout line. <laughs> Slime line. Did you see that? And it didn't break. Look that small mouth. Pretty fish. Now I love this. I love it. They, they ain't nothing like it. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put him back, but I'm gonna get lower. I definitely don't want to hurt this fish. It's beautiful. Old bronze back. Fee. Elmer, you're missing it. Yeah, we ain't but about five, about four or five foot right here. He's in good shape. He's tired, but he's in good shape. That was a lot of fun. This will be real quiet. There's a bass right in front of me. Okay. I still got my eye on him. And I can't tell if he's a smallmouth or a spotted bass. But I'm going to reach him here. I'm going to get one of these creek minters. And I'm going to just flip it out there and let's see what happens look here he's got it. he's after it he's after it I'm gonna be real still I'm gonna be real still but he sees me too all right the minter this bass is very interested all right so I'm gonna flip that minter y'all see that that fish has got that, I believe. Yeah, I see the fish. All right, watch this. I'm gonna give him one of these. <clears throat> Doggone, he's fighting. I mean, he's putting it on me. <laughs> Big time. Come on, ACC crappie stick. It's a good rod. Come on in here. Line doing its thing too, I believe. It's a large male. Woo! Now, that swim bait didn't get rejected. I had to be real still. But now he just couldn't stand it. His instincts took over. That's a pretty creek bass right there. It's largemouth. <sighs> I love it. All I was doing was walking down through here real easy. Real easy. And I seen that fish. He come out from right there. Along with a bluegill. And I just hunkered down. Just let him go. And I uh, was real still, stealthy, and got him. It was pretty well that easy. All right. Hey, there's another bass. Be real still. Now this one, I can tell is a spotted bass. I hope I can catch him. I've lost where he is. I'm gonna ease right here. I don't see that fish at all. He wasn't very big. But I'm catching him. There he is. I 
he's pretty small, but I'm going to still, let's watch him hit this bait. All right, the bait. Y'all see that? Hey, hey, hey. See it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a pretty good size bait for that fish, but I'm going to go ahead and... Now, there's a... Let's see, I don't see the bait. Let's see what we can do here. We got him. If I keep coming in here like this, I'll just keep catching them. I don't care how big they are. Little, big. Whatever, but let's flip him in here. Yeah, it's largemouth. There's two creek minners gone. That quick. He's pretty. Let's let him go. Folks, I've walked way down here now. I found the mother load of bait right here. I can throw a net in here because it's just a flat, rocky surface and I don't know what type of minners they are what we're fixing to find out let's see yeah there's a couple let's see what we do with them all right no question about bait now I picked up the mother load right here let me empty them out and show y'all what we got look at there I mean I throw it over them just right. Let's put them in the bucket. Now we got the bait. Tell you what, tell you what, I just got a strike right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I missed it. Look at that fish. It's a small male. Look, he's got it again. It's a darn small mouth. I hope he keeps it. Let's see. He got it. I missed him right here, and he got it just before it went over the falls. That fish has got it. I'm going to give him time to get it in his mouth because he ain't very big. It's a pretty big creek, creek chub. I got him that time. God, oh, small mouth fat. I mean, they, this one here is putting it on me. And he done went under one rock right there, and I got him out. Let's see how he reacts to this fall. Is he going to go on, or is he going to stay in this pool? That sucker's going to go on. No, he ain't. This is a good smallmouth. Look at this. Okay. What do you do when this happens? I'm just gonna let him go on down in there. That fish, now you, you can see that. He done every, he's doing everything in the world that he can to get off. Ain't that something? That fish putting it on me. I didn't know he was that big. I mean, he's not a gargantuan, but now for a creek, he's a good one. Is it a small mouth or is it a spot? Let's see what we got, folks. Wow, this is a good fish. Look here. Look at this. Look at this. Now that is a beautiful fish. I mean, in a lake situation, this is a beautiful fish. Look how fat this fish is and healthy. Let's let him go. Let's put him right here and revive him. I had him out of the water not real long, but a pretty good amount of time. See if he does like a snook in salt water. They'll hold on to your finger till they get ready to go. No, he's ready to go. He's tougher than a snook. He don't have to have no baby. And when he's ready, he's ready. All right. <laughs> Let's hook up another minner and see if we can do that again. 
probably need to think about put some steel in his nose right here. There he is. He ain't that little. Yeah, it is a small mouth, I believe. I believe it is. Yep. Oh, goodness, he's fighting. It is. Little small jowl. Oh, my knuckles, my knuckles. I'm gonna get right down here. Get him off. Come here, boy. Pretty thing, you. Come on here. <laughs> yep, pretty red eyes. Look at there. Pretty little fish. Okay, let's let him go. You know, that fish right there had another one right with him. I don't know how big he was, but it was a pretty good fish. I don't know if it was another smallmouth or a spot, but now we're going to let's let this one go right here. We're going to ease him back. Mr. Bronze back. We're going to put Bronze back back. Okay, going back in there. All right. I've seen a big bass. I'm out here waiting right now. He was about right in there, I believe. He's a big one too. I tell you what, he's done got it. I don't know if it's a big one or not, but they said a fish got that, that quick. <clears throat> what about that? No, that ain't the one I seen though. That ain't nowhere near the one I seen. But he still, he grabbed it. We'll fish on around in here for a while because I believe, no doubt, what have we got right here? It's a large mouth. Come here. Come here, boy. That's pretty coming out of that clear water. Nice little large mouth. We'll let him go, but I seen a good fish right there. There he is. Now he's a little bit lighter than the ones I caught this morning, but I throwed over there on that far bank and got popped. He didn't come up to the top and grab it, but he grabbed it. I don't know how big he is. There's no telling. Looks oh he let go of it. I ain't got it again. Must not be very big. I shouldn't have missed that fish because he had it several seconds. But we'll try him again. He must be a little bitty fish. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> now he's fighting good. It's a pretty good fish for a creek. He's putting it on me. He's done got my forearm aching already. They sure are stout in these creeks. Now, what kind is he? That's the question. What kind is he? I believe it's a smallmouth. Yeah, I know it is. It's a beautiful fish, too. Look at them larkins. You know, no, I'm going to shout. Look here. I can't tell y'all how much I love this. Look here, what a pretty small mouth. Oh, quit. They fight. Ooh, look at there. Now, he's got some good markings on him. Gray belly spots. Look here. That is a classic little small mouth. I don't believe there's any big ones in here. I'm, you know, anything past what 
What do you think, folks? A couple pounds would be a good one. But look how short and broad and healthy that fish is. Let's let him go. That's about, I believe, three smallmouth I've caught. Three or four. I don't know. But it's been a ball. Let's see if we can get a hook in him. There we go. Got him that time. There's about two or three of them over there. Small mouth. No wonder they're so aggressive. There's one right behind him, but it's not a small mouth. There's spots. Okay. Yeah, like boom. Yep, small mouth bass. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful fish. Small mouth. And look at he's just a chunk. Alright, I'm gonna rig up and see if I can catch his buddy. I tell you what, let's slip him back right here and watch him. Watch him. Well, we didn't have time to watch him. Alright. Okay. Alright, now let's make us another pitch over here. I I think there's another bass over here ready to bite. There he is. Another fish has got it. And I'm gonna tell you, it looks just like a small, small mouth. Another small mouth. I'm gonna let him have it just a little longer than normal. And then give him, oh, I missed him. And then give him one of these. Got him that time. I believe it's his brother. He just ain't quite as big. But he is pretty. Trying to get under that rock. What we have is a situation of three or four small mouths set up on this rock. And I'm picking them off one at a time. I missed them. I'm, I'm, I'm messing with them, making them back. Look at that beautiful small mouth. There's another one. They're not big, but they're pretty. They're real healthy. Let's let him go. Let's see if he'll give us time to watch him. They won't do it. A smallmouth takes off quick. They're out of here. All right, let's walk right over here. Let's see if we can spot a bass. I'm after Billy right now. Uh-oh, a boy I just got bit, I'm talking about. I hope he's got a hold of that. That was a good fish. He's either coming to me or he missed it or he knocked it off. Let's see what we got. Nah, he's on there. I'm gonna let him have it a little bit. I gotta get a hook in this one. It seems, I believe it's a better fish than what I've been catching. Let's see what we got. There we go. Dead gone. I can't believe this. Let me hold my rod up. Now I've got my hands full. Folks, I can't believe this. This is a, a good small mouth. I'm just going to take my time. Back reel. I believe I got a good hook in him. Golly, boom. That was a... Alright, he's wedged me in a rock. Okay, come out. I'll tell you what, this slab line ain't no joke. It's rubbing all kinds of rocks right here and holding up. This is big smallmouth right here. This is a good smallmouth bass. I am so surprised about this. Look here. I mean, my arm is hurting. I'm holding that rod up. <laughs> He's trying to break me off again. 
I'm just going to hold the pressure on him. I'm going to get down in here with him. He's wedged. Okay. He's wedged himself. So I'm going to tickle his belly. Let me get him out in here. I wonder how deep this water is. Golly bump. I can't believe this. That was a big smallmouth. There he comes. He's coming out. Oh, man. I tell you, this is quite a battle. Quite a battle. I'm gonna try to keep him away from that rock this time. Look right here what we got. Oh my goodness. Look here. Look at here, folks. Okay. We ain't got him yet, but we're trying. Look here. Look at here, what a fish. All right. We're going to have to get a thumbnail on this fish, too. No doubt. Look at there, what a smallmouth bass. All right. There he is. Now, is that not a beautiful smallmouth? I'm going to revive this fish, make sure she goes away like she came because this is a unique fish i can't i can't tell you how unique there she goes unharmed oh. folks i tell you what this is not an opinion fishing is there is no sport uh in comparison to fishing. And remember, go up fishing when you can, because it's good for you. We'll see y'all next time.